We've made a lot of progress on our landing page so far. It's been a bit of work, but we've definitely learned a lot and created some really cool stuff on the way. If you've been enjoying the course, it would really mean a lot if you gave a 5 star review and maybe told me some of your favorite things about the course, and of course also any feedback that you might have as well. If you know anybody that you think would be interested or would benefit from the course, it would also really help if you went and shared it with them or shared on Twitter or Instagram with hashtag Jamstack the favorite things about the project that we've built so far. But let's continue building out our landing page with the marketing buttons. These are definitely going to be a lot simpler than the components that we've been working on, so you can take it easy and get a little break here. Let's go ahead and still break down the design of the marketing buttons that we'll be creating so we have a better idea of what to actually do. So here's what I call the marketing buttons. And these are just ways for us to kind of nudge our customers into the different conversion funnels that we might have. The first one is just going to take us to a page inside the store. We'll just pick out a page that we want to specifically market or that we think our customers would find interesting and then we'll go ahead and link them directly to there from the home page. Then the more by us button, I kind of imagine as a self promotion button, something that we could use to maybe link to other sites that we're affiliated with, or maybe our social media if we want to drive people there, but we're not actually going to link it to anything in this course, but that's kind of the idea that I have behind it. So just like with all of our components, we'll start off with a grid container, this time with the default direction of row, so we get the buttons from left to right and then a justify of space around, giving us most of the space in between our components and then a bit of space around them on the sides. So that's going to go ahead and represent the entire thing here. And then we'll need a grid item wrapping a grid container direction of column for the actual button itself. Here, notice that we're using our trick of wrapping a grid container inside of a grid item so that the parent container with justify of space around will be applied correctly. Remember, if we had just a grid item container here, then the justify of space around on the parent wouldn't work properly because the container prop would be giving our item 100% of the parent's width. So that's why we'll go ahead and wrap it in a grid item and then that will represent one of our buttons and we'll go ahead and have the same thing on the other side. Then inside of our button, we'll go ahead and have a grid item that's going to store the image for our button and then we'll have a grid item wrapping a typography component for the actual label. This is just going to be repeated here on the other side in the same way. So we'll actually set this up programmatically so we don't have to duplicate all that code. We'll just have it loop over a list of the icons that we want and get it displayed. Should be simple enough. There's not too much functionality or interactivity going on here. So let's just head on over to the code editor and jump into it. All right, so I'm here in the code editor and I've got my Strappy server running and then the Gatsby server running as well. So let's go ahead and in the home folder, Let's create a new file and we'll call this our marketing buttons. Oops. Our marketing buttons.js. Let's start off as we normally do by importing the components that we'll need to build this out. So we'll import React from React, import the grid from app material UI slash core slash grid. We'll import the typography component from material UI. And then we'll go ahead and import our make styles from material UI as well, slash styles. And then we'll also go ahead and grab the link, link with a capital L from Gatsby. Then we'll need our three images. The first, we'll import the marketing adornment from up directory, up directory images slash marketing adornment SVG. And that'll be the background for our buttons. And then we'll go ahead and import the more by us from up directory, up directory images slash more by us. And lastly, we'll need to import the store icon from up directory, up directory images slash store dot SVG. Then we can go ahead, create our constant of use styles equal to the make styles called getting past a function, receiving the theme, 
and we can open that up to automatically return our style object and we'll come underneath and export default our function marketing buttons and go ahead and open that up. Now we can go ahead and create our const of classes equal to our use styles called and then we can return the actual components that we need. So let's also go up here and since these two buttons are exactly the same, we'll be able to return the exact same code for each of them. So let's create a constant of an array of objects. The first property in the object will be the label property. This will be the text that we actually want displayed. So that'll be store. And then an icon property, that'll be the image that we imported. So the store icon. And then a link property, and this will be where we want the button to go. So we'll go ahead and do this to slash hoodies. And we don't have that yet, or we don't have anything actually there yet, but we'll go ahead and just link this to our hoodies. Let's also go up and we'll also actually need, since we're going to be making this image a button, we'll want to import the icon button from at material UI dash core slash icon button. All right, so now we can come down. Let's add the second object with a label of more by us and then an icon of more by us that we imported and a link and we're not actually going to link this to anything but we can set it up so that in your own project if you wanted to you could go ahead and link it to something that you want. So actually since this would be an off-site link let's use the Harif property for that and we'll get that set up working accordingly. So I'll just link this to https slash slash www.google.com. I'll just link it to Google. All right, so now we can go ahead and use these two objects and map over the array containing them to create the buttons that we want on the screen.